Let's play Botany Manor. New game just came out on Steam today. It's basically a gardening slash puzzle game. I'm excited. Let's give it a shot. In our greenhouse. Lots of cacti. Look at the mushrooms. Oh my goodness. I love mushrooms. Now, head over here. We have some stuff to do. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at the manor. Hope you had a lovely trip. I'm afraid some things in the manor deteriorated, though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much. Alright, tutorial time. That makes it better for you to read if you can't read the paper. Oh, what's next? Collect parcel. Open up. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you've completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. So, it looks like we have to fill this book up to finish the game. All got those places you can go. Fresh start. So we need to fill up the book. Yeah, and there's all the, all the maps we can go to. Pretty neat. All right, let's get out there. Ooh, a fresh start. So many things to look at. What do we do? One new plant added. All right, what's a new plant that's added? Ooh, I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory. But I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. All right, let's go figure out how to make the windmill wart. That's the seed. Now, next is potting instructions. Okay. Place pot on saucer, add soil, plant a seed, water the seed. Let's grab our pot and... Oh, do we leave them here? Guess we do. All right. Add soil to pot. Oh, place pot on saucer. I did that. Okay. <laughs> it just gave me the soil. Add soil, plant the seed. Let me have my seed up here. Oh, how cute. And let's water. <laughs> Ooh, the windmill wart. Ah, oh, so pretty. Now, what does it say to do? All right, we're going to leave you there. You're growing. Look at it grow. All right, while that grows, let's look around. What are you? Uh, something interesting. Check out some clues. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. That's sad. Ooh, a postcard from Marianne. Okay, where do we look for the next object? Oh, open herbarium. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. Alrighty. You can put this clue there if you want to add it. We can go to this paper. Let's go to our book. Can we add that? No, we cannot. So that's not a clue. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to get all this smog out of here. There is the soil temperatures ideal. And the flowers. Windmill wart. Checkered lily, sword lily, and daffodil. Those are the flowers we're creating, I think. Sweet. Where is my plant? Do I water you again? All right, water the seed. We have done that. Where do you go next? What are you? Cactus, look at that. Guessing our next step is to take our plant somewhere. Windmill wart, open heat vent. What does that do? There's the door to the next plot, but I have to get rid of all this fog first. Hmm, let's see what else we can fix. The temperatures, see? Now, windmill wart, the temperature for volcanic flowers is 50, 45, 50, 60, 50. Okay, now we didn't know where we are. <laughs> so let's try 45. We're going to go over here and change the temperature to 50 over here. 50. Now we go over here and open the heat vent. Hmm. We're going to change 45 and then we'll try 60. Okay, now we'll go to 60. Oh, it's 60. That is the answer. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful that is. Wow. Now, since we've created our flower, the smog has lifted. Fog? Fog has lifted. Look at it go! <laughs> Neat! The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a temperature of 60 degrees. The bud contains air purifying quality, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. This is a really pretty game. I'm excited. Now, where to put you? 
bring you with me. Let's see. We're gonna set you down here. Okay, let's put our plant back and get going. You know what? I can't add that to my clues, can I? I guess I can't. So we're in Sicily. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful garden area. I love it. Ooh. You have anything new over here? Yep. Drawings from nature. Pretty flowers. All right, on to the next side. Oh, messy over here, don't you think? Ooh, really good music for this game, too. Look at the manor. Ah, oh, awesome. Ooh, there's the exit. And we'll go back to the house. Let's head to the house. You must find a key. Okay. Botany Manor, home of the Green family. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Here is the key. Entrance to the garden. All right, we have our clues here. The temperature chart and the wildflowers. Let's ring the bell. Uh-huh. Let's head to the house. Thank you. I think it's amazing. I love this game. I didn't spend l long in here to love it. It's incredible. There's all kinds of places to walk toward. You have this water area. This gate locked from the other side. Okay. Head back to the house and see what we can do. Another door over there. Let's start here though. Comfort in. Okay, looks like we have another seed to find. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Take a seat. Next paper. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring. To me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Thank you, my sister. Let's head over. All these places to put plants. I'm excited. We have to find the next seed. There's a duck. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. Chapter 2! Survivors of Adversity. Check out our new plants. We have the Fulguria. Came across this Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. It's amazing. Seed packet location, grand staircase. Look at this thing. I love it. Let's go find the staircase. Get our seed. Taunton to London Paddington first class. Grand staircase. Oh look, I found it. There's the seed. This is a blurry photograph of a picture of some kind of flower. Camera experiment. Oh, okay, so they're testing out the camera. Getting better. So dark. Impossible to see the flowers. Can't believe how quickly I have to run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. And the final result. Oh, look at that. I'm very pleased. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Very nice. Shall we go plant some seeds? Arabella's parents. We are in another room with plant goodies. Chemical disposal. Look at those mushrooms. The art of painting. This place is huge. Ooh. There's the camera she was playing with. Flash powder. These past weeks I've been seeing lots of bright flashes come from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this. And if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. We're going to make a plant and take a picture of it. Let's go do that. Spectacles. Your new Lumen Photographic Flash Lamp. Sweet. No picture of me. <laughs> we are off to the garden to grow a new plant. Up the stairs. Thank you. So here we go. Seed. Nope. Soil first. Seed. Water. Here we go. We need to read the notes so it tells me how to create it. You know what? I think thunderstorms, flashing lights, maybe it needs the camera to grow. Let's check it out. Now it says, open you, take a picture. Oh, it needs that flashing light. Let's get our flash powder. Hmm. This is really cool. I get to play with an old fashioned camera. Now I must figure out how to make it flash though. How do you make the flash powder? Okay, let's check that out. We have to figure that out. This is incredible. Once you figure out how to make the powder, you can create your... There's a key. Create your plant. Picture. All right. Flash powder. Two to one ratio. Chemical potassium magnesium. There we go. Two parts potassium. 
to one part magnesium. All right, then we take it over here. We put you, I just saw you, come on, there you go. Flash powder, put you down. Well, what's going on with you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, there we go. That is incredible. Oh my gosh, I love it. Only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower it needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. I'm gonna put the powder bottle, the letter, and the photographs. Sweet. <laughs> um, this game is incredible. I'm a, I'm just so excited to go to the next flower. It's fascinating figuring out the clues and the puzzles, and it's incredible. Now we have a key to the next gate in the backyard. We must figure out how to get there. Pyrophiles. Neat. Now let's put that in there. Next one. Lilium vivificum. Ash plume. Seed packet located in the rose garden. And we have a key to the back terrace. Painting room. Back terrace. This place is amazing. Locked from the inside. Let's find our seed packet. Ooh. This is amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I found my seed packet. Head over, get our seed packet. And... Get the next thing going. Hello. Next one. Oh, go back. Seed log. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location I found them at. All right. We will use that for the future. Head upstairs and check out this new plant. This one's a tough one to crack, it says. So we'll go over here. Okay, and the water didn't work. See if we can find some clues over here. Flowering plants of Great Britain. Oh, I can run faster using the shift key. I'm gonna head over here. That's the formal garden. I'm assuming you'll need a key. Yes, you need a key. Let's go back over here. There we go. My dear friend, Arabella. My friend visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling of critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. Visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. From Grace. I think the gray squirrels chased off the red ones. What do you think? Looks like someone was ready, to, almost ready to cook. Kitchen key. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. <laughs> All right, this is a list of items we need. Maybe we can go cook. Let's go cook. Flour, milk, potatoes, eggs, leeks, and carrots. Mmm. Look at the view. Sounds of the waterfall. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. All right, time to head to the kitchen. No, no access, so let's go back to the kitchen. Oh, that's locked. Yeah. Painting room. I'm guessing. Ah, uh, I was right. Kitchen is here. Ugh. Look at this place. Blessed this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and respire. Blessed is the hearth with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord who seek their sanctuary, remember this year of construction for this, my friends, is the key. Well then, Hazel's priceless recipes for the home farm workshop in every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. Let's make some chestnuts. Place them in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. Okay, history of Dartmoor. Dartmoor, once covered in majestic forests and woods, how early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice. Well, there's the broken mortar. <laughs> Kindling. Oh, we've received a letter applying to study botany at our college. We do not at present and have never admitted women to the study at the college. Okay, I think you're... No positions available. Positions are at college are reserved for serious scholars. Okay, we'll show you. Let's go find some chestnuts. Can I make some chestnuts? No? No cooking for me. It's over here, other side of the kitchen. Ancient oaks stand tall in Whitman's wood. Wistman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. But none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman's wood. To someone special, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Mr. Bennett. Ah, oh, Chopping wood. Okay, he's teaching how to use the home smoker. What are we making? Smoked food. Sausage. That is the best. There's the smoker. 
Do I get to climb these ladders? No, we do not. Oh, another part of the garden. Put this in the fire and see what happens. Hmm. Wonder if we can chop some wood. No, we can't. Another duck. Porcelain duck. What was that E? <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, close the door. <laughs> another puzzle. Mysterious symbol. Now, what are we doing here? There is something we must do here. Okay, let's roll some chestnuts. I don't- I can't do that. We must find some chestnuts. That is what I think. Would they be on the floor? Hmm. How'd this table block it? Let's head over to this other side and see if we can open that. There we go. Orchard. Locked. Dartmoor. Travel by train to the Dartmoor line. All year round. What we need is to figure something out over here. Looks like a goat with a flag. Found wood and carrots and how to use the smoker. Pyrophiles. Fire has potential to be among the most evident force of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invest wheel and attempt to manage it. Pyrophile seeds typically possess tough shells. So, I don't have a pyrophile, do I? Or are you a pyrophile? Let's go take the seed and put it in the fire. You are in the garden, right? Yes, you are. Come on, buddy. Let's get you in the fire. Oh, here it comes. It's moving around. Yay! Oh. <laughs> There, let's check out our maps. Look at this. Oh, this is neat. Okay. We have the plant in the fire. After we put it in the fire, what's next? So we got chestnuts in the fire, so that is what we did. What does this guy say? And now they're only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Take it to the smoker. <laughs> We're gonna take you over here, back into the smoker. Yes. And we're gonna put some wood in there. Let's try maple. Close the door. <laughs> Let's see. Are you it? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's go to the next one. Cherry. Yes, I skipped oak. I don't know. I'll I'll try it if this one doesn't work. Negative on the cherry. Birch. <laughs> I swear. The one I skipped is the answer. <laughs> there. Oak. We have figured it out, everybody. Look at that. Look how beautiful. The ash plume it was a pyrophile evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seed cracks open with heat, and afterwards the oak smoke indicates it's safe to bloom. On we go. Oh, some just gatehouse delivery. Yay! Someone delivered something. Let's go get it. I'm so excited. The music is like, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. What is here? A key! Thank you! Much appreciated. I love the bell. Botany Manor, home of the Green family. We just got the key to the next section for chapter 3. We're gonna stop here and I hope you enjoy the video. We will come back to chapter 3 in the next one. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!